All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one TV show in the history of the universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be showing you a little mini book haul that I surprisingly had the other day. Um, Robert Heinlein books, mint condition, old time first editions. I mean, I walked into a used bookstore in Salt Lake City the other day and they had these gems here. I typically stock eBay for rare books all the time. And every single one of these books I'd been looking at purchasing, they're just too expensive on eBay. This used bookstore in Salt Lake that I went into had 17 of these books, all for a dollar. I'm glad I didn't order the $100 versions off of eBay, because that would have been, I don't know what 100 times 17 is, but that's a lot more than a dollar a piece. And at a dollar a piece, I got 17 of these for cheap. I don't know what the, the, the math is on that either, but um, let's look at them. Now, these are the... These are the Heinlein books I already had. Now, I was slowly building a Heinlein collection. I had 16 already. Uh, 15 of his novels. Um, one of his uh, short story collections. Now I bought, in this wonderful find at the bookstore, the used bookstore, I got four of his short story collections and a bunch of his novels. So let's go over them. Uh, here's the thing. There's still, he's written 32 novels total. There's still four novels out there that I have not got yet. And I will get those eventually. And then maybe once I get those, I will do a massive Heinlein book collection video where I show everything. But right now, these are the ones I've already had. Uh, these are the ones I already had. I, I won't show those. You can just, if you zoom in, you can see the spines and tell what they are. These are the ones I got. So let's go over them. These four first ones I'm going to show you are some of his short story compilations. Um, they look, I mean, it looks cool, right? They all, all the spines match. Um, all the covers have a similar theme to them. Uh, the first one here is The Green Hills of Earth, a uh, collection of short stories Heinlein put out a long, long time ago, I think in the 50s. Maybe 60s. This one is the uh, the man who sold the moon. Look at them. Look at these these retro these retro covers are just super cool. I really like them. Another group of short stories he wrote. This one is um, the menace from Earth. Another cool, dope looking retro 60s. This has got to be late 60s or early 70s type art. It has to be. They just look off the hook. This one is Assignment to Eternity. So those are the four short story compilations of his I got. Pretty cool. All in mint condition. Really thrilled with that. They look super fly. They got the yellow end papers like they used to do in the day. Okay, then these are some of the novels that I've been looking to get forever and just haven't been able to find any in mint condition for any sort of reasonable price on eBay. And I got them for next to nothing. The dude, in the, the dude that owned that used bookstore had no idea what he was holding on to. I wasn't about to tell him that, hey, you could, you know, maybe that's a, a moral, uh, maybe that's a moral failing of mine that I was like, you could sell these things for $100 a piece. I'm going to buy them for a buck a piece but literally you could probably sell them on ebay but i didn't i didn't mention because i want them in my collection i'm just a bad person that's all it is that's all it is this one one of his earlier novels orphans of the sky with one of those great old timey paintings super cool here we have um Pod Kane of Mars. I don't know. I have no idea what this book is about. Well, I don't have any idea what many of these books are about. I have no idea what a Pod Kane of Mars is. I will find out and when I read it and I will let you know when I review it. Have Spacesuit Will Travel. A great, great first edition. Excellent shape. Another one of those retro covers. Uh, the Door into Summer. 
I mean, that comes right out of... It looks like it came right out of the show Starsky and Hutch. Uh, let's see. Citizen of the Galaxy? Yeah, that looks like a cover that came out of the 1950s or early 60s right there. Uh, Time for the Stars. That's got a real goofy illustration on it. It's all right. Let's see. The Star Beast, an even goofier illustration, but I like it. It's all, it's, I mean, this is the original stuff. Um, Starman Jones. Again, the illustration is just classic. Between Planets, another weird illustration, but I'll live with it because it's just such a great old book. Um, another one of the uh, retro covers, uh, what was this one? The Day After Tomorrow. That's cool. I like that. And then um, Red Planet. Another silly cover, but I... It's, it's just cool. The sillier, the better. Space Cadet. That's badass. And last, but certainly not to be considered the least, Beyond This Horizon, with another one of those funky... Late 60s, early 70s cover designs, just great. That is, these are the books that I found. The rare mint condition books that I found for a, literally a dollar a piece. And a used bookstore. I usually, I very rarely travel into used bookstores because they freak me out. I don't like books that other people have touched. It just bothers me. Um... But once in a while, it, it pays off, you know, so there we go. So look for my, eventually, when I get his final four novels, I think the ones that I don't have are Tunnel in the Sky, The Rolling Stones, um, well, I'm going to forget, uh, Glory Road, and there's one other one that I don't have that I'm forgetting. But anyway, once I get those, I'll probably just end up splurging and buy those off of eBay. But once I get those, I will do another massive Heinlein book collection video show you all of the set together where i'll have all 32 novels and five short story collections all collected in one spot and it'll be one of the best days of all of our lives